What's going on everyone? Welcome to the Warehouse Series. So today I want to talk about dealing with those uh, problem cases. Periodically throughout my videos, you hear me talk about problem cases all the time. So guys, there's hundreds of problem cases out there. The good news is there's thousands of good cases to use. So we're going to talk a little bit about where not to place them, where to place them, what are some of those problem cases, and how to deal with them if you get them early in your order and they're really low on your pallet. But before we get to that, guys, as always, I'm going to ask if you guys can subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everybody's support. I'm creeping up on 3,000 subscribers. If you guys uh, want to give me a thumbs up, I appreciate it. Share my content. Join Discord. Link in the description below. So let's talk about those problem cases. All right, guys. So the first set of cases I want to talk about is slippery cases. You hear me say this all the time in my videos. I can't stand these slippery cases. I don't like them on corners if I could possibly help it. Uh, I usually never put these on corners. Uh, they always got to be on the inside. I want cardboard boxes on the outside and I want to pin these in. You'll hear me say pin. When I say pin, I mean just literally putting them between two boxes. That way I know there's not going to be no movement. They're not going to slide off my pallet, especially on a base. Uh, if you're putting these straight on wood, they will slide. They will move. So slippery cases always towards the middle. Now this could be used for a base. It's a lot heavier case. It's got water in there. These cases, I tend to try to move up my pallet, especially this and this. These milk bones crush really easy, and this is a very light uh, case as well. So not only do I want them in the middle, I want them up higher, at least midway on my pallet. So what happens if I get this case, like one of my first 10 cases? Throw it on your jack. If you have one of them, Throw them on your jack. If you have a one pallet order, throw it on your fork and worry about it at a later time. Or if you don't have any room on your jack and you don't have any room on your forks, just throw it up the pallet, whatever the highest point on your pallet. If I have to move that case three times, I'll move it. I'll tell you why, because if you put it as a base, you're just gonna be picking up your pallet later whenever this case crushes because you put so much weight on it. You know, we can't always help where we start at in the warehouse, but we could definitely help what our pallet's gonna look like. Just because I get this case in my first 10 cases doesn't mean I'm using it as a base. If I know I got heavy cases coming, it's going somewhere else. I'll keep moving it. I'll move it three times if I have to. All right, guys, another couple of cases that I call trouble cases. One is loose bags. There's cat food like this. These are like wood chips for fire or for cooking, I guess. I don't know. Loose content. So like bags that aren't like really tight together. Uh, I always stick them in the middle of my pallet. When I say the middle of my pallet, I don't mean like directly in the middle. I mean like, so if we're looking at the side of my pallet, they need to be towards the middle of that side. So when I say in the middle of the pallet, I'm not saying tuck this into the middle, just as long as it's not on a corner. That is what I'm referring to when I say in the middle of the pallet, just as long as it's not on a corner. Now, these juicy juices, if you get a lot of them, you have no choice but to put them on a corner. Sometimes you have to put cases on a corner, but these juicy juices are just not the greatest things to stack on. So if I get a box, I will, and it's higher, remember, I want my higher corner, but if I get a box, I will put the box on the corner and stick the juicy juice on the inside if I can. Now, if I get a lot of them, I don't have a choice. I got to make a layer out of them. So be it. But juicy juices, if you can help it, do not put them on a corner. All right, guys, you also hear me talk about these type of boxes too. Perforated boxes, lighter boxes. Uh, if your warehouse is slotted correctly, these things should be coming towards the end of your order, especially uh, pretzel chips. These will crush if you put the slightest weight on them. Anything with a perforated line, all right, you see the perforated lines? I'd say this all the time. Make sure that perforated line is facing towards the inside of the pallet. So if you do put a uh, case on it and it crushes the side with the perforated line because that, that buckles easy, it will be buckling towards the inside of the pallet, not the outside. So picture this facing towards the outside of the pallet. We put a case on top of it and then this perforated line buckles because it's it's not sturdy at all, now your pallet's gonna to fall towards the outside. But if we flip this case around and it buckles, it will fall towards the inside of the pallet. So all perforated lines are trouble cases in my opinion. They should be real high on your pallet. Now you can use them on corners because we're real high on the pallet. We should be almost done with our order when we're getting these type of boxes. If not, then once again, you need to move that box a couple times. Otherwise, you're gonna have a flat box by the time you're done with your order. 
All right, so let's look at our produce a little bit. All right, so we got these asparaguses. I can't stand them. They got these little tabs that stick up. Boxes do not sit on them properly uh, because they lock into each other when they're column stacked on the pallet. Where do I put these? In the middle of the pallet. Once again, not directly in the middle. Anywhere but a corner is considered the middle. Remember the cross that I talk about all the time. Put these in the middle. You do not want them on a corner uh, it, unless they're up really high on the pallet. Guys, all the problem cases I'm talking about, if they're up really high, then you can get away with it because you don't have much more to stack. But you don't want these on the corner, on a base, or even like even midway. They're going to give you a problem. So stick them in the middle of your pallet. Uh, strawberries. All these open boxes, you want to group them together. Let's say we had two rows of five. Uh, lettuce all right solid box all the way around and i get eight strawberry i do not want to space them out on the pallet i want to column stack all eight in the corner i want to leave more box tops to stack on you do not want to stack on these open boxes mushrooms not only are they open but they crush really easy they should be later on in your order if you get eight of these column stack them right up the front i always in front whenever I get these. Unless the strawberries, I could, I could do one side, maybe in the back, but the lighter cases I like to put up front. Blueberries, up front. I like to put these up front because I got the guard of my jack, and when my jack shifts, it's not shifting to the back towards these weak cases. So same with the blueberries. I get 12 blueberries. I'm not spreading them all over my two layers of uh, lettuce. I am putting them in a corner, and I will do four, four, and four. I will have you know, three columns of four and put my 12 blueberries there. I will not spread them all over my palate. So please group these cases together. All right, something different. We got shippers. Now, a lot of these shippers stand upright and a lot of them are laid down on the palate. Now, the shippers that they have here are laid down on the palate. The problem is, is we don't cover our whole palate with it. So you're, I, I like how they did this though, because I, I say that, if imaginary line. So I like how they came back to their imaginary line. The problem is, is these shippers are so light. They are so light and you're seeing it right there. It's buckling. This is gonna be a pancake by the time it gets to the store. What would I do with these? I had my trainee do this. They had a one pallet order, just like this person did. And I took these two shippers and I stuck them on my forks. And then I had, a, 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 as soon as we got two corners level, I threw them on, all right? So we got two corners that were level and the whole middle was empty. Well, we just took cases and filled in the middle because we know the shipper's sitting on both corners, so it's not gonna compromise the pallet. And then we just filled in cases in the middle. It doesn't matter if there's gaps or not because we know they're resting on two corners. So me personally, light shippers, you know they're gonna crush. I would definitely not put this weight on them. They're going on my forks until a later time. If I have a two pallet order, I'm throwing them on my back pallet and I'm building up my front pallet until I'm comfortable with throwing them up. And then I will throw them up and then I will start building my back pallet. So definitely you do not want to stack on these shippers. And if your shippers are upright, do not lay them down. They need to be upright. All right, a little bit of a blurry picture. I took this off of one of my videos, but if you follow me for any length of time, salad dressings are without a doubt a problem case. Why are they a problem case? Because they come in 15 different sizes. And if you stack these, even if I had a full layer of, what do we got, LaCroix? Let's say I had a full layer of LaCroix and I come to the salad dressings and I still have decent amount of cases left. Let's say I was lower on the pallet, all right? This is a little bit bigger of a pallet. But let's say I was down here, I had LaCroix. And then I come and I get 30 salad dressings and I just stack them all over making a full level out. Well, every single one's gonna be like this. It's gonna, it's gonna be crazy. So the layer that I put on top of it, cases are just gonna be like this. You don't wanna do that. I always, always, always take the front half of my palette and I will stack these straight up the front. I don't care if the back of my palette is right here and my salad dressings are all the way up here. I know that in the next aisle in our warehouse that I'm gonna be able to catch up the back real easy because we got bigger cases coming up. Salad dressings grouped together, putting them up in the front of my palette, the front half of my palette. I will not stack them all over my palette. They are definitely a problem case. All right, guys, let's go to the meat department. These Excels, they're chicken, different types of meat. There is a gap for some stupid reason. There is a, like a three inch gap at the top of these cases they will crush if you do not lock them in if you this is a tie this is a five block if you do not five block these and tie these in they will crush if you call them stack these they will buckle on top of each other 
All right, and by because I told you we I don't work in a freezer warehouse, but we get cross docks from a freezer warehouse up at our perishable building. And everyone that column stacks these excels, they're buckling, they're crushing every single one of them. So do not column stack these excels. Uh, tie them in like this, and they will not be a problem for you. All right, guys, and one of the last things I want to talk about is the coffee creamers. Now you just saw this in a recent video. Uh, these coffee creamers have no, if I told this person they have no business coming this early in the uh, order, I would have threw them in a different place or I would have threw them on my forks and threw them again. Uh, they are a huge problem when they come this low on the pallet. Now, if this was all the way up here, not a big deal. I always say over midway, you could use this as a, you know, like, like what you're seeing right here. But these coffee creamers are without a doubt a problem case. I usually group them in a corner if they're up higher. If they're not up high on my pallet and I'm down here, they are definitely going in the middle of my pallet, pinning them in between two cardboard boxes. And, but I would I would never use them as a base. You would, unless I absolutely, unless I started with coffee creamers and I know I have all light boxes coming after that. But other than that, I will ever, never, ever use them as a base. All right, now here is the proper way to use coffee creamers. Now this is one of my orders and as you can see, uh, I have a lot of bulk. I even call some of these problem cases sometimes, uh, you know, just their lower cases. So if you ever select these fair lifes, and like I had a lot of them because I, I believe the whole one side of this was all fair life, but let's say you have three fair lifes. All right, make sure you're pinning them in between two cardboard box boxes. You want the cardboard boxes on the outside, you want these fair lifes on the inside, and they are a lower case, so that also helps. Uh, but yeah, look at my coffee creamers up high, grouped together. Uh, you know, is what you want to do with these. All right, the last picture I'm going to show you is this right here. I mean, not only the coffee creamers are grouped together, they're up high. It's okay. Look, over midway, so it's okay to put them on a corner. We're right about midway right here, but it's these cases. Sometimes you have no choice. These come out really heavy. Sometimes you have no choice but to use them as a base. And if you use the block that comes with them, it's crazy. Uh, they, they, uh, they will uh, definitely go over the pallet that you're working on, especially if you have plastic pallets. But look how this person knows this. They group them all up front and they use their buckets and stronger boxes in the back. This was a very smart choice of doing this. You notice that they did not spread these all over their pallet and they, I guarantee they came first unless they build backwards, but I guarantee they came first and they did not spread them all over their pallet. They grouped them up front so they could put their stronger buckets and stronger boxes on the back. I would have done the same thing. I would not spread. If I only have a little bit of these, they are not being spread all over my pallet. Uh, if I have a lot of them, I don't have a choice, but I don't use the block that they come in. I'm trying to find here. We have these throughout our order, the smaller creamers. I call them filler cases. I will stick them to the side, and when this does not complete a block and I just have a small spot, I stick in the filler cases. Guys, I use filler cases everywhere. I've talked about those in the past as well. Maybe I'll do a video just on filler cases, but that's the last picture I want to talk about. All right, guys, so I hope that gives you a little idea of what problem cases are. Uh, you know, you should know what your problem cases are. Every time you get this case, it ticks you off. You know, it's always messing you up. Well, do what I said. It should be either in the middle of the pallet or it should be up high on your pallet. And if it comes early on your pallet, then throw it to the side and deal with it at a later time. Because like I said, 95% of your cases that you get throughout your orders are going to be good cases. You should not have a lot of problem cases unless you get a bunch of salad dressings. But guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. Leave comments in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. And I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.